guys, today's video is going to be all about setting sprays. I do have a snoring dog. There we go. I'm, I haven't got like builders in. That is a dog who has buried his face in a blanket. At some point I will have to show you during the video because it's insane. Um, but that's what that noise is. So we're going to talk about the five setting sprays that over the years I have discovered and actually enjoyed using. I never, I mean, I'm still not 100% on board with regular primers. I don't feel like my skin does that well when I put like too many layers of things on top of it. I have uh, kind of combination oily skin. I can get very, very oily depending on the day, uh, depending on what products I'm using. Um, but also I can be very, very dehydrated. And as I'm getting a little bit older, my skin is getting a little bit drier doesn't seem to be stopping me getting very, very shiny, which is very frustrating. But um, over the years, I have found these five products to be um, probably the only things that I've really enjoyed using, all for different reasons, all for different, like, I want them for different things. Um, but they're the only ones that I think I've used and thought, yeah, this actually made a difference. So I'm going to kick off with the one that I think I would use um, before my makeup, more than anything else, and that is the Urban Decay Quick Fix. I've been back and forth on this as of whether or not it is actually helping my makeup stay on, but I do think that it's hydrating my skin. So this is Hydrocharge Complexion Prep Priming Spray, um, and it's got coconut water in it. It smells like coconut. You're supposed to use it on clean skin, so it is a primer, and it does say you can mist throughout the day as well on top of makeup, um, and it says that you can use it as part of your skincare. So I think it is basically a hydrating spray. And I find it really nice for that if I've got particularly dehydrated or dry feeling skin. Recently, I've been struggling with some stuff that I don't even know what the problem is, but it's just like my skin has been playing up all over the place and I've been enjoying spraying this before I apply any foundation at all. And it seems to be working really well. <coughs> Excuse me. I've just had to pause for a coughing fit. It is that time of year. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying the way that it feels on my skin. And if I'm just going to put on a little bit of like BB cream or something, I'll spritz this on, BB cream, bit of mascara, and I feel like I'm not wearing too much makeup. I feel like it's not um, negatively impacting my skin condition. You know, if I've got that like dryness or whatever is happening, I think I burned my skin by using a makeup eraser. It's a whole thing. Um, it's a whole thing. I asked recently for phrases and things that people... <laughs> associate with me and now whenever I say those phrases I like it's in my mind it's a whole thing with one of them you know you don't even know if you say something all the time and then someone brings it up and you're like ah oh, it's always in my mind um so yeah I like that as like a prep hydrating step um next this is not necessarily supposed to go on before your makeup but this is the way I found it to be the best um applied so let me just check if it actually does say this this is the matte setting spray from Primark um, it says shake well, hold bottle 30 to 35 centimeters away from the face spray. Uh, na, 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 na. I can't see anything about like, other than that, how to use it, but I, I would assume that you're supposed to use this on top of your makeup. This is an insane spray. Like, whereas this one's a nice spritz, the, these bottles, the ones from Urban Decay tend to be some of the nicer, um, like feeling like mists to use. This is absolutely insane. It's like a full hose. Like you put it on your face and you're like, Oh my God, it's full, completely saturated, absolutely insane. Um, and so I prefer to use this before I put on any other makeup at all. So I will do, let's say I was doing a primer, let's say I was doing moisturizer, let's say I was doing SPF, whatever I was doing before. Uh, before I put on my first layer of base, so like actual cosmetics, I would saturate my face with this, wait for it to dry completely, and then go on with my regular routine. This is amazing at blocking oil. One of the only things, there's this and the Gosh Primer and Set, I think it's called, which is a powder that you use before your foundation. You can use it as a setting powder as well, but the before definitely works better for me. I don't know what is in these products, but this blocks oil like no other. In fact, I think I have a drunken review on IGTV. Um, I put it on before I went to my friend's house and I was so, so impressed that I came home and I was definitely still drunk. Um, and I was like raving about it and saying how amazing it was because I, I couldn't believe looking in the mirror, uh, we'd been like karaokeing and obviously drinking, eating, whatever. And my face was just like matte. It was amazing. So if you are looking for something, if you are particularly oily, I think these kind of products are not great for every day. I'm convinced they clog your pores and they dry out your skin. I know the gosh powder used to with me. Um, but I think for special occasions, I think if you've got a night out or a day that you're going to be like a really, really long day, can't retouch your makeup, you want it to last. I think this is really, really good. So I don't use this all the time, 
but it's my thing that I, I save for when I really am worried about oil. Um, next, this is something that I have been back and forth over purely because I don't think there's anything different from this to the original setting spray, but I have to include the Urban Decay setting spray, don't I? Everybody loves it. Um, it I think it's pretty high in alcohol compared to some other ones that you can get, but it works for me and that doesn't seem to irritate my skin and so I'll continue to use it. This one is the Chill. I bought this a few years ago. Um, it's definitely, it's definitely too old to be using now, but I don't care. I bought this a few years ago and um, I bought it because I was going through a phase in one summer where it didn't, didn't matter what I did, I could not keep makeup on my face. Um, it might have been hormonal, I have no idea, but my face was just like super, super oily. As soon as it got warm, my makeup just like slid off my face and I bought the chill one specifically so that I could, do you know what? Now I'm thinking, did I buy this or was it sent to me? I think I bought it and I think since then I've had another one sent to me. Just want to be totally transparent. This may have been gifted. Um, so I, I may have bought it, may have not, but I spritzed this on my face and it worked really, really well. I think a long time ago when I first had it, I did a review of this, I think. Um, and I, I like it, but I don't honestly think it's any different to the original, in truth. Um, but the original works really, really well as well. I think it, it works for all of my makeup. It um, helps my my eye makeup is the word I was reaching for then, helps my uh, eye makeup, helps my eyeshadow and stuff stay on really well. Um, and it's just like, you know, as they used to say, hairspray for your face. Uh, but again, that's not something I would want to be using every single day. It's something that I would reserve for an occasion where I was particularly bothered about um, my makeup staying on. The next two are products that I would feel comfortable using daily. One of these I pretty much do. This is the Pixi Makeup Fixing Mist. Um, this was definitely sent to me. This was something I was not even vaguely interested in. Um, and then I was going through my collection uh, maybe six months ago or so. And I was like, oh, I'll, I'll try that today. And it was really, really good. Like, it's very, very rare for me to try something and feel an instant this worked really well. Like I'll try foundations. I've tried loads of different things. Over the course of a year, I try so many different products and it is very rare for me to see a difference. Like this is different. This I have tried and seen something different, something new, um, something worth talking about. Because I try a lot of products that I never even mention because I'm like, ugh, it's just another eyeshadow palette, it's just another mascara, it's just another lipstick. This I felt was worth recommending. And so I have spoken about this before. Um, I don't know what about it is, is better, but it definitely prolongs my makeup. It definitely helps me keep my makeup on my face. It definitely helps with oil control. It doesn't block it. It's not the same as the Primark Matte, but it helps me keep... I'm more of a natural finish person. Sometimes I don't even put powder on. Like for my day-to-day -day at work, I'll just spritz my face with this. It sets, it dries down to kind of like a satin finish, not that like shiny, um, which I think part of the reason that I bought this, and now, I'm, now I've said this, this is slightly different to the original because I find with the original um, Urban Decay setting powder, setting spray, not powder, I go a little bit shiny. It kind of leaves a shiny layer on my face, whereas this one doesn't. This is more of... Um, yeah, no, I'm talking rubbish, aren't I? Because it, it must be different. Because, I'm sorry, you know, sometimes we're wrong. Um, I feel like what it does for me is no different to the original. But the original does leave, leave like a shiny layer and this one doesn't. So, I'm sorry, I take it back, I take it back. Um, we're wrong sometimes. This gives me uh, a nice kind of satin finish, but I don't even have to have powdered in the first place. And so, especially when I'm having those days where I'm like, ugh, I put my makeup on and everything looks awful and I, I feel like I look older as soon as I put my foundation on and the last thing I want to do is put more powder on top of that. Um, I think if you're going through, if you've got dry skin or if you're going through that kind of transition with your skin as you get a little bit older and you are concerned about that like fine lines and crepiness and stuff, I think this is really, really nice. I'm just going to see what it says on the back. All over setting mist, prolongs makeup and wear, uh, makeup wear rather, keeps it from moving, melting, settling into fine lines or pores. Um, comforts, protects, increases hydration and balances skin for a fresh face. This is legit. I think that it is more of an all-rounder. It perhaps wouldn't be as hardcore um, as some of the other things that I've shown you. I do think that the Urban Decay is like second to none when it comes to the longest possible wear that you can get. And I think that the uh, Primark one, when it comes to oil, is unbeatable. But this day to day, for just like an eight hour day, let's say, I can't fault it. If I was going out on a night out, just regular night out, getting ready just beforehand, I would still use this because it feels comfortable. I think my skin looks natural and it's flattering. 
is the biggest thing. Because often you'll use something and it just makes everything look a bit like worse. And this doesn't. Um, lastly, I'm nearly, nearly finished with this. Um, it's, it's been nearly finished for quite a while because I've been kind of testing other things. And since I discovered this, this has kind of been blown out of the water a little bit. But um, this can be used in multiple different ways. I mean, any of these can really. But this is the Smashbox Primer Water. I used to use it as a primer water. And then I started using it in the instance where I put on a lot of makeup and I felt like it looked dry. And so I would spritz my face with this and it helped to... I don't know. It just kind of made me look a little bit fresher. I don't know if it helps in any way to kind of like mix the things together. Doing some kind of science experiment on my face. I don't know. But if I do go a little bit overboard with my makeup and I think, oh God, in the morning especially, I don't know what it is. If I do my makeup at nighttime, I know I'm not alone here. If I do my makeup at nighttime, my face is already kind of settled. It's woken up. It's not puffy. It's just a normal face. And so I will do my makeup and it looks fine. If I do my makeup in the morning before work, often I think I look tired. My skin is probably like ooh, tired anyway. And it's those kind of occasions where I'll put on my powder, I'll do my things and I look in the mirror and go, oh, Jesus Christ, like, oh, you look 10 years older than you are easily. And that's when I would reach for this because I find that it just, I, I, I think it's almost like it rehydrates my skin. Um, and again, let's have a look at what it actually says that it does. Uh, see if it matches up with anything that I think. The primer water is infused with electrolytes. Interesting. Maybe I'll drink it. Don't do that. Um, prime by misting to create our sheerest canvas for makeup. Hydrate skin for hours. Revitalize complexion to boost radiance. Hold bottle 8 to 10 inches away from the face. Da -da -da -da. Use the primer before makeup application as a setting spray to lock your look or as a refresher to wake up your makeup look. And I think that's the thing. Um... I can't tell you that it, it does anything amazing when it comes to longevity because I think that these other products are better in that particular category. But if you've done your makeup and you feel like you've gone too far or it's just all looking a little bit much, then a product like that is really, really nice. And I do like this. I would be really interested to hear from you what your favourite setting sprays are. Um, there's a few things that people have asked me to talk about specifically, like we're going to talk about powders, but setting sprays has been something that has been requested a lot. Primers, I just don't use primers enough to talk about them. I could probably talk about primers and what they do, but there's really, truly, week by week, I can go weeks at a time without using one. So it's not going to be a true, here are the best ones. It's just going to be more of a, here are the ones that I've used occasionally. Whereas setting sprays, I'm really, really into now. I think that, um, it is a more flattering way to go. If you can avoid powder, setting sprays are great. And um, if you can't, then a setting spray on top does kind of bring it all down a little bit and makes it look a little bit less heavy. Um, so hopefully this has been useful for those of you that were thinking about maybe testing one of these or maybe you haven't tried a setting spray before and you were wondering what it's all about, whether or not you should, especially headed, ahead of the, he, he, ahead of the party season. Um, these are the kind of products that you will be um, relying on if you want your makeup to last all night long. And I will be doing, if I haven't already, I don't know which order these videos are going up, a video on um, my Christmas party makeup and like the, the long wear effect of that. Um, but otherwise, I will see you guys in my next one. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Bye. Well, I've got news for you. I know you're waiting. Vlogmas is right here. Hold on. It's time for it to reappear.